One, two, three. It's all good. I've already hit the start button. Welcome, everybody, to another stream of Fallout 2, where I have a plan. I am hyped. I've been pumped up pretty much this entire week. Uh, but today's been especially pumped up because I did some art this morning. Like, I woke up, I did art because I went to bed last night with an idea of what I wanted to draw. But it was already too late, so I couldn't draw it because I needed sleep. And then I woke up in the morning and I made sure... Was it? No, it's not this way. Uh, I made sure to get drawing on that, and I was really happy with it. It's not like amazing artwork, but I was still quite happy with it. It did what I wanted it to do. Oops. Um, I wanted east side, so I'll just do it this way. Um, and then I was watching Tabby uh, stream Fallout 1 this morning. Um, and they were they were able to finally beat. Not finally, as in like, oh, it's been forever. But, um... But finally, as in, they've been able to, after all this effort they put in, they've been able to actually succeed and beat Fallout 1. Which has been absolutely amazing. Also, kind of not do anything further until I, I finish my monologue, just so I can cut it out when the episode happens. <laughs> um, I guess that's also a pre-ramble thing is for during streams and stuff to do exactly what I'm doing. Uh, but so I was really happy one because I thought they were done once they convinced the master to do uh, to off themselves, but. I didn't realize they done the cathedral first. I thought they had they had managed to succeed with the military base, so they still had to go back to the military base and deal with that. And I was able to actually do that, or not I, I, I wasn't playing. They were playing. <laughs> they were able to go to the military base, and then uh, a few of us were helping with pointers, like, okay, I think you could do it this way. Uh, and they also stumbled across the alien blaster, which helped them a ton, because, as you probably know, small guns suck in Fallout 1. Not like they're the worst thing ever, but compared to energy weapons, it's just a night and day difference. At least with Fallout 2, it, energy weapons are still better. <laughs> like, don't get this wrong, energy weapons still way better, but only like doubly as good, instead of like triple or quadruple as good, so... It, you know, <laughs> and uh, so that made it easier for them. And so that that was pretty much just how to start off my day, honestly. I then also had some fun um, doing auction stuff on WoW. Uh, mainly I was, I was messing around with my functions and stuff to be like, ooh, what if I do this? Or oh, that? Ooh, let me make sure so I can spend less time. Basically, it was a lot of like, this should set, help me save time in the future. As I take more time in the present. <laughs> but it was it was quite fun to do. And I eventually was able to even solve um, a problem that I had created for myself. Because <laughs> I had the idea. I then was like, okay, how do I implement this? And I was able to actually implement it, which was great. And so that that was got me up. And then also this like this entire week. Uh, I've been I've been watching a bunch of like Star Wars character things, um, like Kreia and her, you know how she hates the Force or you know uh, idolizes the Exile things like that. To just some amazing videos, like their short four minute ones, they're just they they make you feel exact like I feel exactly what that character was focused on and they pull they pulled like clips from you know the guitar games but also from like the the movies and just like showing off how it's been done over and over again and it's it was they've been just so much fun and I'll, i've watched them like probably 10 or so times at this point if not more honestly 
Um, but they just every time it's just like a rush of like, this is awesome. I want to create something that is super cool. And instead, I'm playing Fallout 2. <laughs> now, I'm not saying playing Fallout 2 is bad. I'm just saying the quality of my content a little bit lower. But I still, still very much enjoy playing Fallout. And without further ado, before I ramble on anymore, and also have a good place to cut it when I can go to edit, we will start this off. And the first thing we actually need to do is if we talk to one of the kids. The child stops buzzing around and lifts up the pot to look at you. I do have a pot on your head. It's not a pot, Stanley. It's my helmet. Hmm. Hmm. Sorry there, fearsome helm warrior. They glare at you suspiciously. What do you want? I just wanted to know, what uh, what game are you playing? It looks fun. Metal insects and soldiers. He looks at your equipment, spots one of your pistols. Can I play with your gun? Remember, folks, never let a child with a weapon. <laughs> However... I know there's a quest thing that gives me a lot of XP. <laughs> and we are playing the Cursed King. The one who sacrifices all to gain his goals. <laughs> okay, I do love that they have the... No, you'll shoot your eye out. Yeah. Well, I sure you can, you little pothead. Here we go. Also, I love the fact that that could be, you know, literal of, you know, he has a pot on his head to also smoking weed. You take your, your crappiest gun from your pack and give it to the kid. He smiles and holds it up, admiring you. My god, cool. I know where I can get ammo for it, too. Oh, no. <laughs> All yours. Now, do you mind telling me about these metal insects? Yeah, yeah, metal insects. So, we, we saw one where we were out in the desert. It was uh, as big as, uh, he takes a deep breath, as big as a house. And it had metal people in it. Yeah. Where did you see it? In, in the desert. He glances around, starts whispering. A bunch of us are going out there tonight. Wanna come? He squints at you. But you gotta be really quiet. Really quiet. I'll be quiet. Lead on, Macduff. You wait until it gets a little darker. And you follow the kids into the desert. Okay, so we'll save, just in case I fail some sneak stuff. But basically, this is one of the houses, or one of the uh, mob families, doing a deal with, I do not remember, but it's it's the big enemies this time around. Um, also, I forgot to actually double check what all I had done between streams, but mostly it was a lot of inventory management and like a little cleanup here and there. Um, it's also why I have these fancy glasses, because they give me one more charisma point. Um, which is great for selling and stuff. So it was it was minor, just like I, I'll I'll do this, off stream, uh, power up. Not even power up, really. Oh, right, that's what I, I had to reload to a previous. Ooh, thirteen, fifteen thousand, nice, and that leveled me up. Um, 
I had to reload to a previous save because I realized I didn't want to be made uh, whatever the top level is for a family yet because of the fact that... Okay, just save again. Because of the fact that then all the other houses were hostile. Okay, so got out of here. No issue. And... Okay. Uh, right here, back to east side. And so I had to redo a few things, and it was mostly inventory management, but that's also why I got the glasses, because I was like, well, I'm going to do a few things. Um, there's also a handful of other things. It's like, I don't maybe what about this thing? What about that thing? I also planned out a whole big old plan, which we are following to a T now. Um, save game again, now that we're safe, go to story. Um, not sure what I want to spend my points on right now. So I just realized I have a good amount of unarmed. I don't think, yeah, no, it's just a case of, because I have really high agility, um, and decent strength, yeah, no, that's all, like, core, just... Base stats, basically. Um. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Mouse decided to be. A mouse has been having issues lately, and it's more so just by connectivity. Also, speaking of that, I thought I fixed it because I thought it was really only just an issue with Wow. But now it's it's still having issues, which is annoying because there there is a very stable fix. It's called plugging my mouse directly into my uh, computer. But I don't want to do that. One, because it, it barely reaches, so then there's some issues there. I, ju I just like the being able to move my mouse around um, to, you know, how you can with the Bluetooth. So it's like Ah, either I have some issues and like either I have some issues with the mouse and I have the I can move it like how I want it or I have a little restricted movement and then no issues and it's it's one of those overall it's a minor issue but it's one of those things that just slowly gets on my nerves I don't think I'm going to use my skill points not right now Eventually, they'll go into science. <laughs> also, I always forget that barter is a skill. It's just because of the fact that I'm like, eh, I'm good enough. If I, need, if I need caps, I can always get caps. Actually, I need to go down here. Down and down and do the do. Pull up a fire beneath diamond ruby gold and more hid it in the mountain shore. Da -da 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 -da. That is ten, I think. I actually can't read. I will say that is the downside of a lot of the old games. Because of the small text, it's like, is that is that a zero or an eight? Because it's literally two pixels away difference. This. So I'll go here, I go talk to her. Miss Wright jumps. Oh my, you've given me such a fright! She squints at you. Oh, hello again. <laughs> I noticed you humming to yourself, and I thought I'd stop by and speak to you a moment. Beautiful weather we're having today, isn't it? It's night time. Hi. Yes, yes it is. She smiles. I'm Mrs. Ethel White, right, head of the Temperance Union here in New Reno. And who might you be? I like how I can't say I'm Belgium. The Temperance Union. The Temperance Union. Ah yes, she wags her finger at you. New Reno is a beautiful city. There is sin in here, much of which can be traced back to the evils of alcohol. 
Or has your tribes been caught? He pauses dramatically. Fire water. Hmm. Ah, yes, but what about this temperance union you're talking about? He rambles on. Temperance union was established to help people turn away from the, from the poison of drink and turn, turn towards uh, more hard-working pursuits. Hmm. Well, how... New Reno can't exist on gambling and alcohol and prostitution and expect to survive. Oh, no, not with... While well, Ethel Wright is at the helm, it won't. No, sirree. Hmm. Who's all in your organization? He thinks for a moment. Well, good father Tolly for one. <laughs> Gosh. So if you, if you don't remember who Father Tolly is, he's in the western side, of, in the commercial district. And you, you, the first time I found him, he was knocked out cold, pretty much. Um, or at least in a very drunken haze. Uh, with a ton of bottles around him. <laughs> I don't think I need to uh, call that uh, that to attention for her, though. Hmm. What does your organization do? The temple. Okay. Um. Okay. Let me do the Father Tully one. Ah, uh, I hated to break it to you, brother. Father Tolly seems to be a worse consumer of fire water. See, I almost got drunk just from the vapors in his office. Now, you listen here, she frowns. I'm not going to tolerate that kind of slander. That good father has had his struggles with alcohol, but through the help of this union, he has fought for a soul in triumph. Okay, I don't know. It's not slander, it's just that the great spiritual leader of the Reno is about as healthy as oh, the city itself. <laughs> With all the crass rudeness, if you see me again, you had better simply pass by silence. Very well. That's unfortunate. That's unfortunate, because... Okay. Let's see if I can do anything in the morning. But she's supposed to... There should be a way to go, I agree, we should destroy the thing. Okay, so what we're going to do is load back. So, yep, not going to spend anything there. And then we'll talk to her again. <laughs> Though I will say the worst that part about re reloading is I'll inevitably skim through things a bit quicker. Um, instead of... Uh, this one instead of reading everything properly. Duh. Oh my, you gave me such a fright. Actually, I'll just... Yeah, just go through it. Temperance humans... Uh, yeah. Uh, uh -huh. Go in, what does it do? Such as... Uh, Okay, what happens if I say, I like these things? She looks shocked. Surely you are mistaken. Even a primitive tri tribal such as yourself can't seriously mean the... <laughs> oh. 
I don't think this is go I'm pretty sure this is going to get back to the same thing. But golly, I want to say this. <laughs> By the balls of the sky spirits, yes, I, myself, like to indulge in all, all three of these sins. Nothing like a little command love, some gambling, and rounding off the day with a few jugs of fermented Moore's milk. That's what makes what makes being a tribe man so great. Hi, Richard, Ben, and Nixon, and his mother. I don't know what practices you tribes people follow in your dens of iniquity, but in New Reno, things are changing. We are civilized people. We have none of your evils you mentioned in my village. Maybe we could teach you, you civilized people, something. Okay, so yeah. As I expected, that got nowhere. Why can't I seem to get... Um... I wasn't thinking I was going to do to look something up. And so it's like, I just need to talk to her. I get the quest. I do the quest. So I'm like, why isn't this triggering? So I will have to look this up. Um, because I, this is part of the, my plan, was I was going to do that for some nice XP. And actually, the key thing is not just the XP. But you get one of the best melee weapons in the game from doing this quest. And I really would like to give it to Solix so he can just go, Hello, bonk, and just annihilate things. Because, by golly, he does great with just a combat knife. Let alone if I gave him the best weapon, melee weapon in the game. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. It it might be a case of on the save, I haven't actually went down there, and maybe that's why I don't have the dialogue option. <laughs> Which I could fully believe is the... Because looking at this, it's just like, it is basically, yeah, go down there. Or just like, go talk to her. And then you can say, hey, have you seen that your old man is uh, brewing up the stuff? Okay, I've existed. I've, I've seen it. So may, maybe now I can go like, hey, have you, have you heard about what's going on? Which I guess because she's not bringing it up. So she doesn't know about it. So it makes sense that I'd have to have seen it. Now, if this doesn't work. And it's a case of I just don't know what I'm doing here. And we, we probably will just move on. Because it's one of those things that I could easily come back to later. But it is a case of like, I do kind of want to do it. Um, thing. Temperance Union. Temperance. Yeah. Um... Okay, so why? Huh. Okay, I want to read it one more time.
Okay. The the only other thing I can think of is maybe I need to talk to the old man. Ooh, but I can't talk to the old Okay. Mm. Ah, yeah. Hey, Keith, I ran into your mother. What about her? She got herself into trouble again? Does your mother have any idea what your family does? Nah, she don't know half of it. She thinks Dad's all clean and above the bow. But she ain't too bright to catch it. A to on to what's going on. If she found that still beneath the train station, she'd raise Cain. She would. I see. Okay. So it was just a case of I need to talk to her and then basically go like, um, she has a, she, she, does she know? And then I can go back to her probably. Temperance Union. No. Uh, okay. This, that, yeah. Oh, uh, we're all in here. Totally. No arguments. Okay, so nothing I do. Why? Why? <clears throat> I'm just so confused. Why I can't seem to get the quest to trigger? Because it, it, it sounds like it should be cut and dry. <clears throat> oh. I think the stream burped. Oh yeah, the stream definitely burped. Um, not sure why that happened. I need to also re-pause things. Um, is this... question is, did that burp on my end? Uh, short thing. Ah, oh, dang. Yeah, no, that did happen on my end. Ouch. That's not fun. Um, do, do, do. I have to get things like they set up. No. Okay. And... Okay. Theoretically, it should be good. Um, let's refresh that just to make sure it is good. Okay. Looks like it should be good. Should be good. Okay. Back to the actual stuff. Weird though, my internet definitely was just like, nah, I don't want to work. So, unfortunately, it doesn't seem like we're going to be able to do that quest, which is unfortunate. It was a really good weapon for me. But we can always come back later 
and call it good there. So we are gonna do uh, do we go down? Yeah, we go down. We are gonna do our which quest is it? Badish renal is track down pretty boy Lloyd and recover the stolen money and make an example of. It. So we're gonna do that. Because I at least know how how to get that to work. And actually where he is this time. Because he is in here. He is in here. And he is you see that little, little, tiny gap? Yeah, those are actually the stair- nope. Yep. <laughs> Just the nearly impossible to click on. But there it is. Ooh, what's this? Oh, jump. Um, we'll, we'll loot the other side. Well, if it's locked, let me lockpick it. I do love luck. Okay. Oh, yeah. Um, oh, I should have. Should have had my shotgun out. And my sniper and the uh, other thing. Just a little bit of overkill. I wonder if I could just uh, switch to fists and do well. May have some noise. So I'm lowering my desk. I'm getting a little tired standing. I have the energy, but not necessarily the energy to uh, stand up for the entire stream. We are going back down to sitting after doing incredibly little. We've pretty much done one little tiny quest and then spent like 30 minutes or 20 minutes probably on uh just trying to get things to work oh that's where it was like hey, also he's just running through do, do, do let me grab this junk i don't know what it's used for but you know junk is surprisingly uh useful in many different situations just wait. <laughs> I'll just have Solik just pick care of him because he just could go stamp. And that's it. <laughs> like, he doesn't have to do anything more. A more junk. And two. Also, I realized I forgot to put my phone on Do Not Disturb. And with all the, hey, your, your, uh, your stream ended and then started again. Oh, look, they're running. Damn. That was a great, he's a great bodyguard. And unfortunately, I'm not getting him that brand new weapon that he always wanted, which is unfortunate because I wanted to give it. Is there really something more alive? Okay, there is actually. I was like, how's there another? Okay, anything else in here? Anything at all? Yeah, it doesn't look like it. Okay, what's in this one? Uh, are these... Okay. No, nothing out of, nothing in the out of the ordinary so okay not bad good okay you have to go all the way around I was like this is an odd place. Okay, I'm gonna save here, just in case things go rowdy. Locked, as kinda expected. I pick the door, 
Who are you? What are you doing down here? Hmm. You Lloyd. Pretty boy Lloyd. Stephens. Maybe. Who are you? I, I don't believe I've had the pleasure. Lloyd. Mr. Salvatore sent me here to get his money back. And to have you made an example. Does it need to be that way if the two of us can come to an arrangement? An arrangement, you say? All right, all right. What is it to you? Get you out of town, change for the money you won from Mr. Salvatore, Lord. <laughs> now, seems like I got no choice. I'm going to have to take you to where the money is, so, because you won't find it otherwise. Let's go. I'm right behind you. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> The money is in this grave here. Well, I'd like it if you dug it up for me, Lloyd. Uh, there's two types. There's two types of people in this world, Lloyd. Those with loaded guns, and those that dig. Lloyd mumbles under his breath and proceeds to dig carefully. Less than a minute later, he pulls out a landmine from beneath the dirt and sets it aside. He shrugs sheepishly. Nice one, Lloyd. Keep digging. Let's see what else is under there. A half hour later, Lloyd has dug away enough of the dirt to reveal a small manhole cover set into the tile ground. You're certain. You're certain you wouldn't have found it if Lloyd hadn't told you about it. Lloyd takes a deep breath and wipes his forehead. Old fallout shelter. Open the manhole, Lloyd. You can do this, Lloyd. The manhole cover opens with a rusty, rusty shriek, revealing a dark hole leading down. How about you take a step in, Lloyd? He frowns, thinks about making a comment, then shrugs and climbs down into the manhole. Coming down after you, Lloyd. <laughs> That's what I was hoping for. And I can. I fucking get up to here. I think a headshot should be plenty to uh, dispose of him. Ah, I didn't get. Um, I can. Oh no. Good head. Ah, quite one. Not bad, not bad. I do like how he did have a double barrel shotgun, but he knew he was far above his uh, pay grade. Save here. And. Yeah. Surprise it wasn't trapped. That's a thousand, thousand caps, not too bad. Do 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 do. Okay, so then we'll leave. Also, I got, I got the glasses from here. <clears throat> Let me switch back to the glasses. Okay. Oh, okay. 
<laughs> it's just like, what's going on? <clears throat> oh. I thought it was a sign to be a bit gunky. Second street. And then we head back to Salvatore and go, the deed is done. <clears throat> no idea why my, my throat is all gunked up tonight. Gunked up tonight. You found Lloyd yet? Yes. I did find Lloyd. He nods, frowning slightly. Well, all right then. Go tell Mr. Salvatore what you found. All right. Salvatore looks up at two, takes a breath from the mask. Have you disposed of the thief? Yes, I made an example of him, Mr. Salvatore. He puts his fingers together. And the money, has it been recovered? Yes, Mr. Salvatore. I will take the money now. I give him the thousand caps. Salvatore nods as you give him the money, but he holds up his hands halfway through the transaction. The remaining half is yours. Thank you, Mr. Salvatore. He takes a breath from the mask. I have another matter that requires your attention. I'm interested in the job, Mr. Salvatore. What do you want me to do? A constituent my district has not made me tribute for the services I provide. Collect it. If he objects, inform him you are my representative in this matter, Dr. Mason, for the details. Yes, Mr. Salvatore, I'll go see him. All right, then. You're going to be a one-man collection agency. Real simple. You visit Renesco's pharmacy in the commercial hub. You collect the tribute, a thousand caps, you bring it back here. All right, anything else? Don't let Gramps give you any bullshit. If he does, tell him you work for Mr. Salvatore. That should clear up any misunderstandings. You got that? Got it. That's all I need to know. Thank you, Mason. No sense in being a champion. Especially because I might end up, uh, joining with them because they got energy weapons why they got their tech superiority also got a little bit of xp from that last quest we do some more saving talking to Nesco. oh out with it already hmm. i've come to collect mr salvatore's tribute and you wasted a trip. I paid Mr. Salvatore his tribute two weeks ago, as per the schedule. I don't know who you are, what you think you're doing, but you aren't getting the one red chip from me yet. I am Mr. Salvatore's representative. You will give me the tribute I have asked for, and you will do so now you lose your hearing boy i said i paid the trip you already two weeks ago if you were really from salvador you would know that now get you are the one who has lost your hearing i am mr salvador's representative and you will pay the tribute. 
prove you're from Salvatore, and I'll consider giving you chips. Else you can't get in shape. Do not need to prove myself. I am his representative, and that is all you need to know. Hmm. Don't matter. I can't pay. This last collection nearly wiped me out. That is not my concern. You will get me the money now. Mr. Salvatore does not want to hear your excuses. As I have to double check my notes. I really should double check my notes before things, I'll be honest. Shape them. Okay. Yeah, well, nothing happened. Right now. I didn't need, I really shouldn't check my notes because it's just a waste of time. That is not my concern. Oh, I already said it. This is, again, this is why I should just not check my notes. That me ain't gonna help Mr. Salvatore wants his money. I don't have it. He'll be mad at me, but he'll be mad at you too. Salvatore doesn't like people who, who let him down. You better figure out something quick. I'm pretty sure this is what we're supposed to do. <laughs> Quite literally a case of like, you pay or you die. I warned you. I'm to die. What's this? Yep. Status. New arena. Oh, I didn't kill him in one shot. We also may reload just in case this was like the wrong decision. Okay. Yeah, sure, he got his entire inventory full. Gotta have all the things. Okay, I'm not sure it makes sense. Yeah, I definitely feel like there's another way to do it. So it probably will end up reloading. But we'll still, we'll turn it in, see if there's another way, if they're like, hey, what the hell? Let's put the can away. Okay. That's what I thought, so... Da -da -da. Tribute. Let's just, let's just redo that path a little bit more friendly. At the uh, tribute, and... Um, I guess I'll talk to Mason, see what I need to do. Because it's, from what it sounded like, it was just like, you don't, you don't uh, let him get shit. But... Hmm. 
Nesco's giving me shit. Says he, he gave it two weeks ago and he shouldn't have to pay for another month. I figure what? You tell him who you work for? Yes. And did you show him who you work for? How would I show him? Well, I gotta hold your hand. Easiest goddamn thing in the world. Don't cry to me, my son, my son. So ain't you pain? So and so ain't pain. Oh, some bowels, boy. Take care of it. Mm -hmm. Hold on a minute there, Speed. I'll make this real clear so you can understand. Don't talk to me again until you get it done. Mm -hmm. but... <laughs> okay, I have to I have to check because as far as I could when I was checking planning things, it was just like, yeah, you just don't let them give you shit. But now it's just like you gotta show them that you're from top. How do you do that? Uh... Um, I I will say I am maybe like 20% of the way in. I actually don't know how far roughly I am in. Um, I feel like I haven't gotten very far into the game. Though granted, I feel like with my current plan, um, by the end of that plan, I'll have a good chunk of it done. So I, I want to say I'm like 20 to 30% of the way through. But I also, I haven't beaten this game before. So I'm like, I, I don't know if it's just a case of like, I feel like there's a lot more to do, or if there really is a lot more to do. But, well, actually, I guess I have a good chunk. I guess probably actually closer to 50%, because I do have a good chunk of the, the town's kind of done to a degree. It's just kind of that final few things that I, I also feel is most of the um not content but most I feel like most of the story is in the later half. Okay, I see why this isn't working. I need... Ah, uh, I need one more intelligence. I'm gonna make a note of that for when I come back. So I, I will say that so many of the different things in this game see you need to have like seven intelligence and i am at six <laughs> it is quite literally one of those cases where it's just so close so close it's so far away and it's so absurd it's like dang it just so many quests and stuff like that um okay i need to check my notes was there anything else? Nope. So we are going to going back to Broken Hills. That is where we are headed now. Off to Broken Hills. That's where the exit is. Unfortunately, there isn't any uh, gear that gives you intelligence. There is gear that gives you charisma. Hence why I have these glasses on right now. 
Um, however, I believe it's the NCR or San Francisco. There is the herbologist or whatever the kind of crazy um, radiation worshipping people <laughs> that you can actually get stat upgrades for. I think it's for money as well. So, oh, is stream there? Okay, no, it was just by thing. Oh, <laughs> okay. Uh, flamethrower wielding maniacs. Oh, no worries. Uh, I, I enjoy chattering, and I usually end up getting distracted by it um, because of the fact that I usually end up streaming too late and nobody is around. <laughs> uh, but yeah, the herbologists give you stat upgrades. I don't know the costs. I'm assuming it's going to be caps, and I can always just go to... I can never remember. I think it's Den or something. One of the first towns. There's basically... There, there's a gambling-like thing that you basically... It doesn't isn't based off your gambling stat. And you have a good chance, or chance, of winning. And I've set up a macro so I could kind of farm that to easily get... Um, easily get caps if I need it. Which is really nice, because then I don't have to worry about like, Ooh, is it this? Do I want to do that? I could just have fun with things. And let's do a good old shot between the eyes. Nice. Ouch. Ouch, poor Solik. And Solik is doing wonders. Also, yay, I have my bot working. <laughs> I also realize that every screen I, screen I have chat on, it's just slightly too small, so I have to, like, scroll up a little bit. <laughs> ah. Oh, I need reload. Reload. And... Okay, let me step a little bit closer. Get a good shot between the eyes. Nice! Vic actually did something. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. That was by just general projects. Uh, timer. I have I have way too many projects, honestly. It's actually quite quite literally the reason why I have um actually started to cut down on the number of projects I'm doing because I I've just been far too busy and stressing myself and burning myself out due to trying to do too much and uh, so i've i've gotten I've, I've slowed down to a bit less focus just kind of on my youtube stuff streaming stuff and also trying to pass classes <laughs> which has definitely been a bit stressful I can't carry that much. Fun, fun, fun. What you be needing? So, like, how much inventory space do you have? You have space. Wonderful. I take that, take that, that. Okay. Also, I forgot the flamer is incredibly heavy, but also it is... I can't remember what the flamer... Oh, yeah, the flamer is a big gun. And it is one of the best damage, and that is such an amazing pistol. It is the the point twenty two three. It's the fourteen isn't bad either, but pretty much some of the best stuff <laughs> from the previous game. But that one's really good because I also learned today that it ignores a huge chunk of armor, which is great because sometimes that's really what's stopping you from doing damage. Granted, good crits also mean you can just ignore it. Oh, that's the other thing, actually. Speaking of stats, um, for the most part, like, a lot of things don't affect your stats, except for the actual, like, drugs and stuff. Um, they save on this one. Um, but 
I was like, oh yeah, beer probably will have some effect. Dang. Nah, let's avoid them. Just so we don't take less time. Just so many different things. Uh, neat. I'm not sure what we encountered. There, there isn't anything here, so I'll just move on. Um, but like, you know, in the old, the oh, a bunch of mobsters. Let's just ignore them and not not tangle with the mob. Um, a lot of the old, or not old, quite the opposite. The newer Fallout games, like the different beers, do like plus two strength or one strength. You know, minus charisma, whatever, or plus charisma, minus all of them minus int. Uh, all of the the drinks do not actually do pretty much anything. I can't remember. They did do something, but it was effectively, it was just all negative. So it wasn't even a case of like, oh yeah, it's a little bit better for this thing. Ah. <laughs> okay, so... Now we're back in Broken Hills, which will be fun. Um, what I, I'll save, yeah, actually, I need what to go uh, wait here. We be here. Thank you, buddy. Need to wait, because that way I can go in there without worry. At least theoretically. I still am going to be taking poison damage. Um, let's save. We successfully got here. So. I need to get all the way here. Okay. We're just going to run for it. Okay. Okay. I'm just gonna, like, that's just what I'm gonna do. It's just gonna run for it. Because I don't have power armor, and power armor is how you can ignore the damage. There is, unfortunately, no, like, radiation suit, like, in the, like, Fallout 4, so. Oh, dang it. That's a bit annoying. I was like, you shouldn't be able to get me that easy. Run, 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 and jump. Da, 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 da. Because the idea is I'm just going to get there, fix the purifier, and then maybe I'll be fine and I can fight. Um, like the, the water or air is then purified and I don't have to worry about it. But the reason I'm also doing it just by running and having my minions wait outside is because they also would take damage. So I don't want them to die. So I have them wait outside of the poisonous gas area. Also, looks like I need a heal. So I will do exactly that. Where is the syntax? Whoop. Impact. And that's probably good. I probably don't need to do any more than that. Hopefully, at least. Because I also don't want to overuse my stamp packs because, you know, I, I still don't, like, despite the fact that I don't have to worry too much about the caps, I still don't want to break things too badly when it comes to the caps. Okay. If I remember right, I can repair this. Um, okay, so what parts did I need? Oh, also, this can get installed. I don't remember where. 
but you can also have this installed in you for an extra point of intelligence. There's a few ways to get more intelligence, just none permanent right now. Um, mine parts. Okay, I needed not to go in my inventory, I needed to do this thing. Yay! I repaired the air purifier just like that. No problem. And now I can go... Bang! Yeah, that's what I thought. Just do normal shots and utterly annihilate them. Also, looking at the entire thing, there are a lot of... There's a dead body there? Well, now I gotta explore this area. <laughs> also, death claw. You know. Good too. Perfect. But yeah, now the air is theoretically purified, so I don't have to worry about dying. Doop -a -doop -a -doop. Just a few things. Bang. And bang. Shotguns are wonderful. So there is a dead body right roughly there. So that means there's some hidden passageway roughly around here, I'm guessing. Wonderful, wonderful. Yeah, so I, I didn't even need to use the, uh, my stem packs. Oh well. It is what it is. Quite happy that I was able to get it done nonetheless. What I'm gonna do is stop by here. Go, hey, what was going on? Like, I'm gonna get ya. No. Oh, I need to reload. Oh, that's just... It's been a while since I've had such a successful run of things, because I've been doing some more difficult things. How did you get there? Oh, it's just right, it is right there. Huh. That's a sleepy looking man. Um, I'm gonna save. It's just sleeping. I don't think that's a good thing to carry around, but... Okay. Oh, right, I remember I can do something with said uranium ore. Um, let me check how heavy it is. It's 10 pounds. Okay. I should have waited for later. All right. Ah, um, but let me grab the old what two duo. What you be needing? That's it. And then let's -a go. For now. And I believe if I check, oops, let me put this uh, this gun away. Talk to Zeus. You fixed it. Excellent. Say, I know you were doing this for free, but uh, I couldn't let you do that. So, me and the guys got something together and got you this the combat shotgun. Good luck, and thank you. No problem. It was my pleasure to help. Overloaded. <laughs> ah, but at the very least, I could give it to him. I think. Well, that's why we're checking the weight. Yeah, I think he can. I think it's not. Yeah, 
<laughs> Quite literally, just barely. But he can carry it. That's the key thing. That's it. Yeah. Oh, there's another door. Hmm. Okay, so I'm going to check my notes really quickly. But I think the next thing I'm doing is taking a yeah, trip to a caravan trip. So first or twice second, and it is not 21st. Ooh, perfect. It is the 21st. Let's see if it still counts and I don't have to go to first. Um, but first we're also going to talk to Marcus, because we can actually get Marcus to join us, um, in theory at least. So I'm going to do that, or try at least. And if not, oh well, no big dish issue. Something else you wanted? Um. What, any news around here? What exactly do you want? Okay. We got some folks missing. No idea what's happened. Find them. Get $500. I'll do it for free. Just need some more info. Oh, great. Let me know when you found something, right? Okay. Something else you wanted? You want to travel with me? Uh, there's too much going on right now. When things calm down, then I just might. Okay, so we're, we're coming back here later to do new, more uh, Broken Hills things. The reason we're not doing any more Broken Hills things right now is because I didn't look into too much here. I just kind of like, okay, we're stopping by, fixing the thing, and doing other stuff. Um... Where are my Broken Hills notes? Hmm. Okay. Uh, Good boy, yeah, status, Broken Hills, find the missing people. So, I have absolutely no idea that so <laughs> that's gonna be something I need to look into. Uh, save and uh, whoops, never mind. Um, back to this one. Looking for a job. Uh, well, you, we got two choices: shovel and Brahmin then, or you could escort one of our caravans for two hundred. Got caravans to Gecko, the new NCR, and Vault City. This here also be nice. Um, uh, what was the 21st? Vault City. How about Vault City? All right, Vault City it is. Caravan leaves today. Are you ready to go? Yes, I am. Let's get the move on the road. You know, super late at night. Ooh, okay, maybe I wasn't, wasn't ready enough. That's a whole lot of heavy weapons. Also, dang, I'm gonna get more weapons. I don't have the carry capacity. Uh, which actually, you know what? This ties back to the reason we're going back to where we are. Is because I want to get the highway man. That is part of the goal. We are getting the parts for the highway man, and we're getting that thing fixed. Because it also has carrying capacity I can store things in. Okay. I really should. I'm gonna pull out the sniper here. And then switch to it. Hope I can't. That's my, yeah, that's what I thought. Um, you know what? Let's just try and get a good shot on that one that looks to be wielding a big old weapon. <laughs> yeah, it did some good damage. Oh. 
So I'm just going in there, slotching them with a knife. Time to tango. Go, go, go. Bye, bye, five. This, this isn't too unfair fight, to be honest. You know, quite literally, the funniest thing, my biggest issue is going to be I don't have the carry weight. Or Solik gets himself killed because he's literally in the middle of everything. Oh, right, I forgot. I'm the Cursed King. Solik won't get killed. Solik has good armor and AC. He can't get hit. Okay. Let's actually, okay. Nope. Not at all. So we switch back to this. Go for an aim shot. Oh, dang. Um, you yeah, know, just go for a nice good old headshot. Boom! There goes that. There goes their head. And let's move a little bit closer. He shot his own buddy. That one's down. Wonderful. <laughs> that one's like, I ah, this ain't worth it. Solik got hit for a little bit. Solik, there's a reason why I was like, I want to get him that big old new fancy melee weapon, because he deserves that thing. Okay, how's everyone? Unhurt, unhurt, unwounded. Unhurt. Okay. They're all pretty much right, so we'll just take care of this one right between the eyes. Oh, I didn't crit. It's always the worst when I don't crit because it's like, oh, I was hoping to crit. I wanted the extra, the uber damage. Oh, it's your turn to die. That's it. Ah, oh, dang, I've been hit. Also, I just realized that my health isn't greatest. Oh, what was it? That was a fancy little weapon, and he just punched the dude, so it got hit for a bit, and stabs, yep, stabs the life out of him. Oh yeah, there goes that one. Yeah, punching that one. Oh, uh, let's finish her off. Are you kidding me? Just no crits this time around. Oh well. Yeah, it's dead. Punched. And dead. Ooh, roundhouse kick. And stabbed. Uh, yeah. Sniper shot. Hello! Welcome to the stream. Aw. It's too far away for me to actually get a good aim shot, so... We'll just do a normal shot. Yep. Just some classic Fallout 2. Having fun with it. Really, just no crits today. <laughs> Not for me, at least. Uh, I am the one in the middle with the combat armor. And I, I'm, I'm playing more of like a Cursed King uh, with the Jinxed perk, basically. Uh, because I tried to play this before and um, got my butt handed to me once I tried to do the Raiders below Vault City. <laughs> and I was like, this is ridiculous. So I was like, you know what? I'll just have their numbers be against them. By, uh, by making it so that they just, when they miss, and they will miss, uh, make it so, like, their ammo explodes and all that with the Jinx perk. <laughs> yeah, I should be able to get that shot. Oh, still not dead. Oh, I can move one more thing than he knows. Yay! <laughs> Okay, good amount of XP. We are gonna save here. And. Actually, inventory. Yeah, I need to go drop some stuff off with Solik. Uh, actually, how much space does he have? He has 29. Ah. Uh, Carry weight. It is something I will always need more of. 
How much is this? Oh yeah, that's a full like 30 pounds. Oh yeah, and the junk is 10. No wonder I, I was like, I feel like I just cleared out my inventory. It's because these are actually incredibly heavy. Um, yeah, but I'm going to give them that, or take that off of them. Pick one of the junks. Yeah, that should be good. That way, if I need to need some more inventory space, I can put the sawed-off shotgun, because I won't need that. Okay. That, actually... What's my inventory? Yeah, okay. I think those are good ones. Oh, it had a flamer. It never got to use it. And I don't have the carry weight to even bother trying to pick that up. Actually, what I will do is take the ammo. Because <laughs> I think the ammo's at least light. I want all... Okay, so that was, that was what those two had. mind. Okay, how much? Okay, each. Uh, flamer ammo? Oh, where's my other, the other flamer ammo? Um, oh, actually, other flamer. Oh, was it right here? Yeah, right there. Yeah, the, the flamer ammo is a whole... I'm just actually going to drop the ammo in this case. It's actually more worth it to uh, take the flavor. Um, okay, let me just pop back over here. Uh, yeah, just throw that in. The jump might be useful, which is why I don't want to fuck it just yet. I don't know if that one's useful. I know this is worth the time. Uh, uh, worst one, I'm just like, I don't know what to get rid of. Okay, but let me just check at least the other bodies. Shotgun, shotgun. Shotgun, and shotgun over here, maybe. Ooh, fancy little pistol. I haven't seen this one, so I'm just going to say take it. And... Oh, there's also this one. And, and can I take it? I can. And I have two pounds left, but I think I'll call that good. And, okay. Just so it stacks nicely. Huh. Uh, actually, let's see. That's actually not too bad of damage, either. It's not good. It's not better than what I have, but it's not too bad. Uh-oh. -uh. Okay, did inventory management. <laughs> Picked up as much loot as I could get. Oh, right, okay, I just need an exit. I don't need to talk to anyone, just exit grid. Huh. Is he just bugged? Don't tell me he's bugged, because that'll, that'll be annoying. Nope, oh, okay. Oh. Another good. I should have healed up. That was my bad. Okay. Oh, I need to reload. Okay. 
I really went into this one unprepared. Let's go for the head, though. Boom. And that was a crit. Nice. Crits are back. The crits are back on the table, boys. And I will get literally no loot from this one, which is unfortunate. But it looks like they're all melee people. Never mind, that does look like guns. Also, it looks like I have an entirely different group of allies this time around. Also, dang, I wish I had an explosive with how tight-knit they are. Dang, that one's nasty. So bang. But now they're dropping. The one Solik picked on has a ton of health. What is his? He's looking at his dad. That makes sense. Hey, got a pin. Let me get a little bit closer. Doo -doo. And uh, still, okay, no. Let's double them over then. If you can't kill them, knock them out. Oh, look, they came to me. Cab, cab. Hey, look. Oh, that was a good shot from them, honestly. Oh, so I guess I still should loot this then because of the fact that. I should still get some caps. Okay. Thank you, Vic. She knocked herself over and took some damage. To turn, you hit for one point, two points, two points. Thank you, Solik. Your buds. There he goes. Down for the count. Go for the eyes. Not dead. Oh, wow. Not dead. This is surprising. And down she goes. Thank you, Vic. Dab. Dab. They're all dead. Okay, just take the caps that is on their bodies. Taking the caps, taking it twice. Gotta get that loot tonight. Definitely, I also know, I guess, really, just case of. Well, again, the reason I, I don't have as much carry weight as I want, or free carry weight is because of the fact that uh that people just don't have enough caps or stuff to trade the guns for okay so then I save I go doctor six we heal ourselves a little bit Because, you know, I can, I can use the healing. Okay, failed. Failed. Fortunate. Okay, first aid. Just, you know. Hey, I did some more healing. Okay. We'll call it good there. Let's just go to the side. And we're at Vault City. Okay, so whoa! This is laggy. I wonder if it was because so many things were like, it's gone or gone. Okay, so then, do that. Let's also pop in here. Where are you? Because I don't think I've actually talked to this one before. Hello there, my name's Ben. Ben Wade, I'm in charge of trade caravans between Reading and Vault City. 
I can usually use an extra guard or two. Okay, never mind. Uh, can I barter? No. Basically, it was just like, ah, oh, I don't actually need to do that. However, um, that actually will probably be part of the plan. And... Yeah, okay. Let's stop by here. To go, hey, I need to sell stuff. Also, I forget I can sell uh, the tables as well. Do you have any caps? No, you don't. You really don't. Uh... Well, that's at least 150, so I can at least do that. It just doesn't have any caps, and it doesn't have anything I want to like. I want to have. Nope. Oh, okay, never mind. I guess those can't actually be used. Um, well, let's just check the clinic. I don't think I can sell anything. Barter? Nope. Okay, so we go up to Vault City. Yep, and then we have to wait till the morning. Right, can't wait right here. <laughs> I always forget that. Gotta wait till the morning. <laughs> okay. Enter in. Here we go. Okie dokie. Right to you, I forget. Yeah, no, I, I do have to <laughs> I was like, here you don't have to worry. And I was like, oh, wait, no, I, I do actually have like a bunch of camps on me. There, There is also a quest that is about not, not smuggling camps in. Um, so I might actually also try and talk to some more people than originally planned here. Okay. Here we go. Okay. Since, you know, I'm here kind of thing. Okay. First, though, is the maintenance center. What does that read? Amenities. Let's talk to Vic's daughter. Well, if it isn't my dad's boss, you want something, or are you just going to stand there gawking like a moron? Hey, I have those tools you wanted. You do? Yeah. Here you go. Uh, thanks. I mean, not great, but they'll do. We're, um, ah, never mind. It's not important. Here's a few bucks for your troubles. That's in question. Yeah, hey, yeah, look, I, I have some work to do. Come back in a day or two, all right? I'll, uh, have to time to chat then. All right, I'll be back in a day or two then. Goodbye. Um, okay. So I do need to wait time because I, I need a toolbox, fancy tool set thing. Summer, so. Uh, do, 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 so, what's this? This lead? Okay, let's save some more and then do some talking. Hello there, stranger. Always a please pleasure to see a new face. Ain't Randall, I'm the chief amenities officer. Need something? Um, yes, I can barter. 
Bye. Nothing today, actually, and I think it's a case of, like, you, you can't get anything if you're not a citizen. Um... Let's talk to the big ol' security dude. You back again? You lost or do you need anything? What do you do here? Correction... Correction center, keep the outworlders in line, make sure the servants behave, organize patrols, and help protect the city from raiders. About... what about these patrols? Yeah, we have a small group of patrols. I can barely spare the men. Protect the whole city, much less do all the... Reconnaissance that needs to be done. I do a lot of traveling. Anything I can help with? What do you mean? I could do some recon if you're short shorthanded. Uh, you need a pit boy to get the job done right, and I can't spare one right now. Actually, I already got a pit boy. It's old and cranky, but it seems to have a few wires and buttons yanked out everywhere, but it still works. Yeah? Well, Got an NCR or a map installed? Yeah. At least from what I can see through the fog of war on this game. <laughs> this old game thing? <laughs> I got a job for you then. Need someone to scout the terrain around Gecko. A ghoul encampment to the northeast. Hit the eight sectors on the world map around the town, then report back. Alright, I'll come back when I've scouted the area. Do I have that quest? Which is the, the key thing that I, I wanted to find. Uh, the part of my plan. And I'm like, I may as well. <laughs> Another official. <laughs> He's got caps. It's us. These guns are so valuable. Get four four thousand. I mean, this is that's actually actually. I should have grabbed the flavors. I should have grabbed these ones. I didn't expect the flavors to be near, nearly worthless. Um, I don't really have anything else. Oh, I don't have anything cheap to sell them. Nothing today. Northern area, I believe, has the medical place. Which might be this one? That's it. Okay, who are these? Okay, just citizen, so nothing fancy. Um, maybe it's this place? I'm not seeing any, like, bright, like, this is a clinic, but maybe. Who are you? Okay, maybe there's, these are just housing, honestly. That could be it as well. Guard, guard, okay, I'm going to. Um, yeah, maybe here? There's, there's at least a sign. Bartender. Yeah, let's, let's just talk to him. Ish. Can I help you? Thank you. Looking for some information. Perhaps you should be at our information center instead of this establishment. Alright then. That's it. I'd say quite the useless bar. Yeah, nothing. Where was that quest? Then? I guess I'll, I'll just have to look into it later. Go in. I will go down. And pop over to this place at least. And I guess and in this area, because I also don't know what this is. Oh, hello. Is there something else I could help you with? 
What is this? Ah, uh, this is the information cent center for Vault City. Is this the uh, place you were looking for? Yes, actually. Information center. Do you have any books or manuals? Fortunately, our books are currently being transcribed into electric format. The uh, extras are being shipped to the amenities office down the street. You might try there. All the books are gone? Uh, yes, well, everything is being transcribed because this is somewhat a delicate matter, but I believe my post here in Vault City has become obsolete. Obsolete. They are discussing putting information terminals in every household. These new terminals would would all be tied to the list server, the information archives. Once that is done, the uh, information center and I will be unnecessary. So, all for the best, really. You seem to have some doubt there, my friend. Oh, why? Yes, uh, the first citizen is rarely wrong. She's wrong many times. <laughs> In such matters, still, I will be sorry to leave this place. I, uh, or they have a position waiting for me in the list office. Sorry to hear that. I have to go. Okay, so that, not then. It's unfortunate. It, so, also the other thing I realized is it might be a case of I need to... Okay, so nothing special there, it's just a household. Okay, yeah. And it is office, because it might be a case that would need to be like a citizen or whatever. To uh, do the other quest I, I stumbled upon while looking through things. But what we can do right now, we can go scout out around Gecko and come back. Which then, hopefully, I'll also have the parts. Um, or have the fancy tool chest to be able to trade. Once again, my spirit touches you from the void. Chosen, our crops fail, our reserves are meager. Return to us with the gag. Your failure is our last light. Dude just jump scaring me like it's nothing. Oh, cool. How are the answer guards? I don't know if that meant to put me there, but I just had the mouse at the bottom. Because I should be able to get a, a box from the from Vic's daughter. Also, I did look into it. I do not have to worry about the spirit like going, hey, we're running out of stuff because they don't actually have to, they don't actually end up running out, which is nice. Whoops, whoops. Down. <laughs> Let's do it this way. Um, yeah, still there. Just... Here we go. Okay. Oh, good. Okay, so we'll also go talk to her again. You won't believe this. Not less than a day after you gave me those tools. That super cool kit I ordered arrives. Not just one. They sent me five. What the hell is wrong with the ordering office? Curious, could you part with one of those toolkits? Why not? What am I ever going to do with five of them? Take it, I swear. That's that I'm going to beat the living tar out of the list office for this. Thanks. I appreciate this. I'll make sure it gets good use. I don't think I can barter it. And the, the sad thing, this is not going to get some good use. Also, I'm overburdened by three pounds. Hmm, this is weird. What you be need? Uh, what's your carry weight at, buddy? You got zero. You got one pound. I don't want to overburden, so most likely I have to overburden. Dick. 
What's your carry capacity? One pet. Okay, so I, I need to grab some stuff. Um. Well, something might. Oh, but I can't. Hmm. Oh, actually, I could probably drop a shovel. That might be it. There's the shovel is. Shovel is 10 pounds. Holy crud. I wasn't expecting a shovel to weigh 10 pounds. So I'll just drop it there. Not that I really need to. I shouldn't need it ever again, but whatever. Okay, let me talk to him again. I've surveyed the area around Gecko for you. Good job. Download that info into my pit boy and I'll log it into the patrol computers. All right. This intelligence looks good. Well done. Here's your payment. $300. All right. Got any more work for me? Yeah, actually, I need someone to travel to the NCR. Lately, I've been hearing reports that the Republic might be building up military strength. True or not, I need someone to plot a route. And plot a route to NCR and report back. Just travel to the NCR and report back? That's all I need. I'm more interested in the route than the Republic itself. But it, it, I'll still need you to enter the city once you get there. I'll take the job and I'll report back once I'm done. Okay, so now I want to go to Gecko, and then turn that fancy little toolkit that I got uh, into a fancy car part. Because then I can then make it back to where I need to go, and then get that car made. Is it once we get back and get that car made, that will be the end of the stream. Um, okay, so Redding is down there. I haven't been to Redding. Okay, it is the den. Redding is close. Closer. Ooh, I might try and go that. One of those catch 22 kind of things. Oh, yeah, probably go to Redding. Oh, junkyard. And I believe the man of the hour is over here. I see that you got a mighty fine toolkit there. Snap off, ain't it? I'll trade you this fuel cell controller for it. That's the deal. That's a mighty fine trade. You should be able to just plug that sucker in and get your car working. I'm going to try that right away. Thank you. How heavy is this? That's five pounds. Okay, so now we're going to head back. We're going to go to Vault City. Go to the caravans. Because the caravans go to Redding. And that will take us closer. And also, I think... I don't know if I got paid. I just realized I'm not sure if I got paid for the caravan work earlier. I didn't even bother to think about it either. So it's one of those like, ah, oh, I've been. I wonder if I, that worked. Okay, courtyard. No loitering. So go here, go here, go save. Uh, save under this one. Talk to him. Doesn't there talk about caravan? 
Hello, I don't think I've seen you around. Welcome to the Vault City. Is there anything I can help you? Um, who are you? Oh, my, my name? Well, uh, it's Belinda. I'm the Chief Greeting Officer for Vault City. Sounds like a tough job. <laughs> I work benefits Vault City. I have uh, the privilege of being able to walk, talk to travelers about the grandeur of the city. Oh, come on. Has to be a little boy sometimes. I take great pride in the work that I do for Vault City. You'll have to excuse me, but I have some very pressing. Okay, so that was useless. Huh. Okay. I... Weird. Yeah, no, I read very much that. Okay, so no, not actual caravan stuff right now. So we'll just walk to the den. And this will take a while. And this is why we're getting from the car. <laughs> and I'm going to make some notes. Bum 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 ba da do 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 It's a bunch of bandits. <laughs> yeah, get them! I'm just gonna run past them. Because I just like, eh, I, don't, I don't care. <laughs> I like, uh, that one's just like, nope. <laughs> I know what we're dealing with. I'm not gonna deal with it. Solik is uh, playing God, pretty much. Another one dead. Lord Stabin. Basically, I've made some notes to look into for the next stream, which will not be tonight. I'm not doing the same mistake as last week, where I stayed up way too late uh, planning my next trick. Uh, I'll probably do the planning either tomorrow or sometime next week when I have a bit more time. Nah. Don't want to encounter some extra stuff. Do -do 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 -do. And guarding a bridge. Interesting. Yes. For some reason I think I I think I should save my game in a brand new slot. Oh, this is cool. Also, I, I love the... That is actually good dialogue to go, hey, something could go wrong here. I, I remember seeing this for something. I don't I don't remember any of the details. Um, Stop! Who would cross the bridge of death must answer me these questions three. Air to the other side, we see. Ask me the questions, Bridgekeeper, for I am not afraid. What is your name? Beldurum of Oriya. What is your quest? To search for the Holy Gek. How much weight can a person with a strength of six carry, assuming he has strong back perk? Go on. <laughs> I don't know this. Um, I think I have 175. I think I have strength 6. I think strong back gives you 50 more pounds, so I think it's 225. Hopefully I'm correct. Right, off you go. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Also, I swear, if it... <laughs> I never get to ask the good questions. Talk to my agent about this. I keep telling him I have to stop doing these cheese gigs. How am I ever going to get respect that I deserve being in low budget movies and video games? Hmm, I should really think about getting into that car repair. I do kind of want to see what other things he'll say. 
Here that is where all the money is made these days. I'm going to talk to my agent about this. I keep telling him I... Okay, he's now repeating. I, I remember seeing that as a random encounter on on something, privilege denoting, and so it's like, ah, I really want to do that. And honestly, I had no idea what the right answers were. I was just like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. And nope, I do not want to deal with mole rats. But that is a really fun thing with Fallout. It's these random encounters. That's the thing with a lot of good RPGs is these random encounters. Their main story, and their uh. Is it the den or is it a clan? No, 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 I think it's a den. Yeah, it's a den. Yeah, it's a den is where I, I pick up um, Vic. So, we, we, got, we got back, and now we should hopefully get the car. That is my goal. Okay, let me talk to the, this man. Um, save. Talk to him. Hey there, I really enjoyed your meal from Mom's. Thanks. Now what can old Smitty do for ya? Hey, old timer, I got this thing from Clement. Old Smitty, here, take a look. Sure thing. Hmm, that looks just like a fuel cell regulator. If I had a car that ran, it sure, it sure improved the mileage on it. Huh? Oh, you see, I've got this car. Chris is more of a highway. She's a beaut, too. They used to say nothing could stop a highwayman. Built tough, that's what they were. Yeah, so what's uh, that got to do with me? Well, you see, I thought I needed a battery for the thing, but all I needed is a fuel cell controller. And the thing was already going bad on him. Well, I've got one of those. That's right, here's the deal. You give me 2,000 caps, I'll sell you that car. Hell, I'll even install the fuel cell controller for you. Should run good as new. I'll even charge it up with some extra macro microfusion cells. That's what I needed the fusion cells for. I was like, I feel like I need. I should just uh, pick some of these up, but I didn't. Also, let me. I'm gonna talk to the brother of steel after this. Okay. That sounds good to me. Here's the money in the park. Do 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 do. Just take it easy with her until she warms up now. Okay, I will. Thank you, Smitty. Also, let's see. Can I borrow? Her? Can I buy anything extra? Two thousand caps and a nice fine super repair. Um, actually, though, legitimately, this is great. One of the shotguns. Too high. Because I need to double check how useful that is. Okay, take the shotguns off. Two flamers. One pistol? Um, I should have grabbed the other stuff. Oh well. One pistol, I will overpay. I will overpay, I think. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'll grab the next one. I'll grab those. Just a little bit of overpayment. Thank you, Shmini. Okay, I'm gonna save just in case I break something. Nice. Okay, back there, left side. And I can... I can store things in the trunk, but this is where we are going to wrap things up. I'll do some inventory management tonight. Not tonight. That's the key thing. Not tonight. <laughs> I will do it before the next stream. Um... This did take about two hours as kind of planned, which I'm surprised on, actually, because I fully expected to get about two hours and an hour, or like, you know, somewhere, and be like, okay, that's all I got, you know, and be able to cut it into two pieces. But I actually did manage to do my plan all in one. Um, did miss a little bit, because I couldn't extort 
the uh, Renesco, and I also couldn't destroy the stills. Unfortunate with both things, but overall, I was able to get everything I planned to do and also have some plans, or starter plans, for next stream. But until next week, uh, the time will be undetermined. It it'll probably be around 2.30, but maybe not, because that was planned for today, and I ended up starting at about 5. But either way, uh, assuming all things go well, I should be able to stream next, su or next Saturday, I almost said Sunday. Uh, and we'll have some more fun with Fallout 2. And until next time, I hope y'all have a wonderful time. Bye-bye!